should you spend your time learning Azure DevOps in 2021? Who's even using Azure DevOps? Anyone? Is it what industry is it being used in? Do I see it in the wild? Well, let's find out. Hey, Mike here from learndevops.com.au. And in today's video, we're going to be briefly looking at Azure DevOps and whether or not it is a tool that you should be learning in 2021 and beyond. Obviously, the developer for Azure is Microsoft. It's part of the Azure cloud platform. It is a, I would say it's probably Microsoft's take on GitLab, frankly, because it's a, it's an attempt to integrate with the cloud platform, CI, CD, and so on and so forth, and deliver that sort of comprehensive tool set. But the question is, is do I actually see it in the wild? The answer is I do, and I have done, but it's actually pretty low usage. I haven't really seen it outside of one client in the past five years. It is getting more popular. I am hearing it spring up more during conversations, but in all honesty, most of my clients end up going with GitLab or GitHub. They don't really see Azure DevOps as a, as a mature, serious contender in that space, to be perfectly honest with you. Where I see it, where I've seen it being used, I should say, is in government. It does get used very heavily in government because what you tend to find with states or even federal government departments is they're very Microsoft heavy. And so when Azure came along, that was sort of the obvious natural organic candidate for lifting from on-prem up into a cloud-based solution. And then of course, if Microsoft Azure DevOps integrates very nicely with it, then why why wouldn't you why wouldn't you use it? And I don't blame them for wanting to think in that way and use the tool for that purpose, but there are definitely better options out there. So should you be using it in order to learn how to do Git and how to do CI C D and so on and so forth? In my opinion, no, because it is made for those people who are already sort of heavily vested in Azure. And again, Azure is gaining more traction. However, you can find the same education in much better tools such as GitLab for no cost whatsoever, much easier to use, much easier to get started with. And in the case of GitLab, you can actually even self-host the entire thing yourself. So no, I wouldn't really recommend it as a tool that you should get familiar with. Maybe have a little play around with it, maybe set up a repository, maybe look at the UI, but I wouldn't spend too much time getting knee deep in Azure DevOps. But do keep your eye on it because it is there in the industry and it is very slowly becoming more and more popular. Hopefully that answers the question and hopefully that was something that you enjoyed listening to. So if you did, then hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments below if Azure DevOps is something that you use. Perhaps you really dislike GitHub or you really dislike GitLab, which is not allowed. <laughs> and of course, if, De if Azure DevOps is a tool that you prefer, then do let me know down in the comments below. Or of course, if you want to have a chat about this, then head on over to chat.learndevops.com.au. Let's connect soon. Cheers. Thank you. Very nice.